Uh, we have probable cause to believe that you're here for alien smuggling, which means before we pull you out of the vehicle, you need to turn the ignition off. You're going to need to stop talking so I can explain it to you. Go I, ahead. I Nelson need you to put the phone down. So I'm not going to, I don't agree to be recorded, so. Uh, this is my First Amendment right. It's not, actually. I don't need your constitution. I'm not interested no. in it. I'm not interested You don't want to see my constitution? How can you feel good about yourself, huh? What'd you do? Dude, that was fucking bull. You pointed to it. Your dog did not alert. Sat before I. You mother fucking liar, dude. You're fucking scumbag. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story was submitted by a viewer named Luke. On July 11th, 2021, Luke was vacationing in Jacumba Hot Springs to take pictures of the abandoned buildings and railroad tracks. Shortly after leaving the small town, he was pulled over by the CBP. How's it going? How's it going? How can I help you guys? <laughs> what is the reason for the stop, please? Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta turn the phone off. No, no, no. no. You also have to turn the engine off first things first. No, turn, I don't know what's going on. I'm driving. Okay. Yes, I understand. Right now, we have probable cause to believe that you're here for alien smuggling, which means before we pull you out of the vehicle, you need to turn the ignition off. What Agent Ryan said that is most concerning is, quote, We have probable cause to believe you're here for alien smuggling. Reasonable, articulable suspicion is discussed often on this channel, but probable cause is an entirely different animal. Probable cause is central to the Fourth Amendment, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. The Fourth Amendment doesn't define probable cause, but today we know it to be the standard by which police have reason to arrest or search a suspected criminal, or acquire a search warrant. The principle behind probable cause was to limit the power of authorities to perform random or abusive searches and to promote lawful evidence gathering. No warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation. An oath is a promise to a deity, and an affirmation is a pledge on one's personal honor. In claiming that she has probable cause, Agent Ryan is declaring that before her God and on her personal honor, she has enough evidence to arrest or search Luke for alien smuggling. Let's see how this pans out. Smuggling. Okay, Wait. Can you turn off the engine, please? Yes, sir. I don't have anything to smuggle. Okay. I don't know what I'm... on the dash. At least turn off the engine. No, no, no. Dash. Stop. Stop. This is my constitutional right. Your con no, your sir. Constitutional right no. Over officer safety. This is not... Is no. need to be turned off. This is my constitutional right. You can still have to... I have the, the constitution in my you dash. Guys, I, I will. Care about I will. Any of that stuff. Look. I want the engine turned off and we'll go... Yes, sir. Back. It's off. Okay. Thank you. This is my constitutional right. I do not... <sighs> I do not want to be searched illegally. I'm driving. What is your probable cause for stopping me today, please? I already explained that to you. Now go ahead, ma'am. Okay. So Come I on. can I can do it again, but you're gonna need to stop talking so I can explain it to you. Go I, ahead. I Nelson need you to put the phone down. So I'm not gonna. I'm, I don't agree to be recorded. So. Uh, this is my First Amendment right. It's not actually. You. Like, there's probable cause of alien smuggling. We're allowed to actually pull you out of the car and search your vehicle. What are you gonna find? I have nothing well, I don't to be know. wary I of. It's weird that you're trying to be so evasive, though. No. This is a normal uh, interaction. Most people are. Yeah, Sir, most people friendly. are just like, hey man, we'd like to be on can, our way. Can I explain? It's best to never explain anything to law enforcement. At this point, they've clearly made up their minds that they will do what they came to do, and anything you say will only be used against you. As an example, Luke asked what their probable cause is, as probable cause should be clear and defined. But not a single agent on scene has offered Luke any probable cause by oath or affirmation. Instead, they claim that they've already told him and that most people people are nice and allow the border patrol agents to perform warrantless searches and seizures. You're going to need to stop talking so I can explain it to you. Go I, ahead. I Nelson need you to put the phone down. So I'm not going to, I don't, I don't agree to be recorded, so. Uh, this is my First Amendment right. It's not actually. No. This is a normal, uh, interaction. Most people are Yeah, sure. most people Friendly. are just like, hey man, we'd like to be can, on our way. Can I explain? Next, they'll threaten him with a multiple hour detainment for not allowing them to search his trunk. But if they had probable cause, all they had to do was arrest him and force the search. You like there's probable cause of alien smuggling, we're allowed to actually pull you out of the car and search your vehicle. Which leads me to believe that there is no probable cause for the now five agents to be on scene. I'm driving down here, I'm from Orange County. Okay. I'm just what searching, I'm checking out the area. So you got for anything what? in your trunk? No, I do not. Okay, so we can look in it? No, you cannot. That's my Fourth so Amendment right. Canine, which means you're going to have to stay here for a couple hours. Which is fine, I have nothing to be wor worried about. Searching this way. 
You guys are absolutely. What's your sir? What's your name? I look. My name's Luke. Barbie. I I don't. I'm not here to steal anything. Okay. I, I think you're overreacting. I think you're the one you overreacting. Everyone here is just talking to you normally, and you're raising your sir, voice. Sir, you came at me with guns. You have three vehicles. What are you about guns? There's no guns. You have three vehicles. You got a gun on your hip. I I have a gun on my hip. That's that's preposterous. I I have a right to be kind of concerned what's going on. Okay. <laughs> not really. No. Look, I got these three guys. Four, one. Sir, my, what's your name again? Agent Park. Okay, what's your badge number? I don't uh, have to tell you that. Okay. Um. <sighs> so what are you doing? What are you What are you here for? Like I said, this is really it's a basic, simple thing here. I mean, I don't see. Uh, no, I. No, so you guys are gonna try and antagonize me to give in to search my vehicle. I got I, nothing you, to be worried you have, about. You have the right to refuse the search of the vehicle. Look, but we have the right to call a canine. I'm. Yes, sir, you do. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna reach into this. You can watch. It's my constitution in my glove box. Well, I don't need your constitution. I'm not interested no. in it. I'm not interested. You don't want to see my constitution? No, I do not need to see that. That is not. Did there. you take an oath to the constitution? Yes, I did. You know what? I don't think you did because you're not following the constitution. How do you figure? What's your reason for stopping me, sir? We have reason to believe that you might be here to smuggle. Smuggle. You're not from. You're coming down from Orange County. You're do I have the reason? To, do, do I have the right to travel? Yes. Yes. So why am I being stopped? Because. What? Articulate the probable we cause. Are, are you guys want to laugh? Traffic. Look at you. You're laughing. You can't even articulate it. No, you're not. Letting and I have a reason to be yelling. I have a reason to be angry. No, no you, you don't. cannot articulate a, a suspicion person. for traveling a down here. Person articulate it. Does not act the way you do. Okay, okay. A I can't. Person, the way you're acting is not. Look, the way sir. A person acts in a vehicle. Look, sir. There's five of you surrounding me. I, I'm gonna get anxiety a bit. Okay. <sighs> just everyone, calm down. We're just talking to you. We're just asking questions. Yeah, it's it's CBD, anxious. sir. It's CBD. It's CBD. Look at that. Here, oh, I'm gonna roll down the window. Okay. I'm gonna roll down the window. Look. Yeah, you can roll down the window all you want. We, we look. can look in your vehicle. You're, no, no, you you're can't. Being detained yeah, for, we can look uh, in your vehicle. Look, look sir. For an investigative oh, detention. Look, as sir. As long as we can uh, come CBD. to the fact that you're not committing a crime. Hey, no THC. Yeah. There, there's no THC. Can look at no, it. sir. There's not. Okay. Uh, he has them out right now, unless he put them back in. No, sir. My keys are right here. My keys are gonna stay on my hip. Look, there's nothing on me. I don't have any. Any will attention. Look, there's a knife right here. I'm not gonna reach for it. That's good. Please don't. I'm not. My hands are up. Are there any other weapons right there? No, sir, there's not. Fine. That's cool. Well, just sit tight. We got a canine unit. We're gonna uh, yes, sir. do a quick sniff on your vehicle and then uh, yeah, no, there, right? that's that's how it goes. I get it. Yeah. You know, you have a right to uh, call a canine in, but yeah. I'm just here. I'm look. I'm exploring pretty much is what I'm doing and you guys no, no are making worries. a fool out of yourselves because I'm not doing anything wrong We're doing our job. That's what No, you're not. Well, that's why you're Do you see that stuck. the fence right there? We're patrolling the border. Yes, sir. We're right here at the border. No, no, no. You came you guys followed me You followed me for, for what did you pull me over for? You cannot articulate it. No, we are You think have, I'm just a dumb kid. I, I'm not I'm no fool, dude I am no fool. You okay. cannot pull me over like this and you cannot even articulate why no, you pulled me over have articulated. No, it's sir. You have only. not yes. because I'm traveling and I, I'm driving with a backwards hat. I'm traveling. I'm driving 40 miles per hour. You think I'm smuggling? I'm a white Caucasian male. What am so I gonna smuggle? Black people smuggle? Is that what you're saying? Are you racist? Here we I'm go. Confused. We have a Karen right here. Yes, you're looking at it right in your selfie yep. reflection. Yep. All right. Here's the here's well, the skinny. What is the, wrong with you guys? Well, no, seriously. This is so why people. Talk, this is why people hate you. cops. This is why people hate cops. And I, I don't hate cops. Apparently. But, you know, you guys pull people over for no reason. You cannot articulate why you pulled me over. Yeah, you and you guys want to search my car for what reason? What reason? You guys think I'm stupid, huh? I have the Fourth Amendment right. My Constitution's in my glove box. I have the First Amendment right. The Fourth, search and seizures. You cannot unless you have a warrant. But you guys are gonna, but you guys are gonna bypass it by getting a K-9 and then having the K-9 false alert. You think I'm f***ing dumb. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb, okay? K9 does not false alert, but if that K9 false alerts and you guys find nothing, that K9 should be taken out of service, okay? <laughs> okay. <sighs>
I'm just gonna put my chair back. I'm gonna just gonna relax. Yeah, don't do anything. No, I'm just gonna relax. I got nothing to be worried about, man. Eventually, a K9 unit arrives on scene. How's it going, sir? What's your name? Very good. Agent on the left. Just sir. Uh, right, sir. My name's Luke. Okay. Nice um, to meet you, Luke. All right. So here's what's going on today. Yes, These individuals pulled you over. Yes, correct. Okay? So what I'm here for is I'm a canine handler. I have a dog. Okay. okay. Fair enough. My dog is trained to sniff, smell cocaine, heroin, marijuana, methamphetamine, mm -hmm. and ecstasy. And yes, sir. Uh, concealed individuals. Yes, sir. Okay. My only question at this point is what does a concealed individual smell like? Do you have any of that in your vehicle today? No, sir, I do not. None of that? Whatsoever. No. No, sir. Okay. Well, do I have permission to run my dog on your vehicle? Uh, I I can't say no to that yet. I mean... Yes, you can. Do you, do, I give, do you give me permission to run my dog on your vehicle? No, I don't, but either way you're going to do it, so that's... Yeah, either way I am. That's why I'm asking you for permission. Uh, yes, but no, I don't. I'm gonna do run not my dog around you your vehicle. Go for it. Okay. Do you want to exit your vehicle? No, I want to stay in my vehicle because okay. this is like my home. This is this is my vehicle. I don't do not want to get out. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna tell you right now. If my dog alerts to your vehicle, you will be stepping out of your vehicle because at that point I have probable cause to search your entire vehicle. But you have no probable cause to pull me over in the first place. That, probable cause. Yes, you do. Over. No, you yes, don't. Yes, you do. In the state you of California, you do. To pull you over, sir. That is all we need. Can you articulate it? I don't need to articulate it too. You I'm have to articulate it. I'm not the one who pulled you over. Then get the guy who pulled me over and have him articulate why he pulled me over because this is unconstitutional. It's not unconstitutional. You think I'm just a dumb kid, don't you? You think no, I'm just I don't, a fool? As a matter of fact, I no. Say that my literally. constitution's right in my glove box, right there. You want to read the Fourth Amendment? No, I don't. Where in the Constitution does it say that we have to give you the uh, okay. the reason well, we pulled you over? I never seen yes, that. Yes, sir. The go ahead. I never seen that in the Constitution where it says that where we have to right now at this point in time tell you why you pulled you over. We'll explain to everything to you once we're done running the canine sniff. Look at this. We got one, two, three, six cars, you know, and I got a canine. This is just, this is just crazy. We got the canine right there. And you back these guys up? How can you feel good about yourself, huh? Where is it? In there? Okay. What'd you do? Dude, that was fucking bull. You pointed to it. Your dog did not alert. It sat before I. You mother fucking liar, dude. You're fucking scumbag. Can I step out of the vehicle? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll step out. Get your hands. Get your hands up. Get that the canine clearly alerted to Luke being in the vehicle, and somehow they can legally pass that off as a hit for a concealed person. At this point, Luke alleges that his phone was grabbed from his possession and the agent searched his vehicle, finding nothing. While in cuffs, he was allegedly threatened with arrest for his CBD cigarettes, which are legal in the state of California. They then allegedly offered to let him go if he unlocked his phone and allowed them to view the pictures he had been taking of the railroad tracks and abandoned buildings. He refused the offer, and instead of arresting him, they ripped up his cigarettes and let him go. I say allegedly because Luke submitted a FOIA request for the dash cam and other footage on July 15th. The website claims that it would be ready by August 13th, and that time has come and passed. Luke hasn't received any information or cooperation pertaining to why he was pulled over in the first place or for the release of the footage. If the CBP ever decides to do the right thing and release the records requested, I will be sure to update you all. Luke does not have a lawyer yet, but if you would like to help him with this case, please email me and I will get you in contact with him. You mother liar, dude. You're f***ing scumbag. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.